What is happening, everybody? We have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans to kick off the 2020 NFL regular season on Thursday night. This is a rematch of last season's AFC Divisional Round playoffs in which the Texans got out to a 24-0 start early in the second quarter before the Chiefs came roaring back en route to a 51-31 win. There are plenty of ways to bet on this football game on Thursday night. We'll get to everything that you need to know before betting the football game. But before we do, know that at DraftKings Sportsbook, you can get $1,000 in risk-free bets and the Chiefs as a 101-point underdog in this game. Typically, the Chiefs are a 9-point favorite. As a 101-point underdog, you're getting 110 points of betting value at minus 110 odds. That means a $50 bet will return $45 of profit if the Chiefs either win or stay within 102 points on Thursday night. That feels like a pretty good bet. And you can get this offer at crossingbroad.com slash DK. Once again, that's $1,000 in risk-free bets. And the Chiefs as a 101 point underdog. All right, let's first start with the odds courtesy of DraftKings Sportsbook. We're recording this video the day before kickoff on Wednesday afternoon. And currently, the Chiefs are a nine point favorite over the Texans, minus 450 on the money line. And we are looking at an extremely high total set at 54 and a half points. Just how rare is that? Well, we'll tell you in just a minute. We'll take a look at the picks and predictions for this game in just a moment, as well as some of the important betting trends that you need to know. But before we do, let's take a look at the setup of this football game and some things that you might want to be aware of before placing a bet on it. Any analysis of this game kind of seems to start and stop with the Houston defense and the Kansas City offense. Houston's defense really struggled a season ago, yielded 25.3 points per game in 2019, which was 23rd in the NFL. Kansas City, meanwhile, averaged an electric 29.9 points per game, which was second best in all of football. Houston's defense was not just bad in one way, it was bad in lots of ways. It was 25th against the run, and it was 29th against the pass in 2019. Making matters worse, it's hard to overlook Kansas City's dominating offensive effort in that 2019 AFC Divisional Playoff game in which they dropped 51 points on this Texans defense. And not only that, it was the way that they got back into the game so quickly. After falling behind 24-0 in the first half, actually early in the second quarter, Kansas City scored four straight touchdowns heading into the locker room. All four of those scores came in under two minutes and three seconds. So it was quick hitters from this Chiefs offense, and it's hard to imagine that they won't be able to have some similar success in this particular football game. Now, it's not all bad for Houston. In fact, they actually did go into Arrowhead Stadium last October and knock off this Chiefs team. So it's not an impossibility for Houston to pull an upset on Thursday night. We've seen them do it within the last 11 months. That being said, they are certainly going to be fighting an uphill battle in this one. All right, let's get into some important betting trends to know for the Chiefs-Texans matchup on Thursday night. Let's talk about Andy Reid's fast starts, especially as Kansas City's head coach. Since the 2003 season, Reid is 10-7 and against the spread in Week 1 overall, but he's 5-2 and against the spread, including 6-1 and straight up with the Chiefs. That includes five consecutive season-opening wins as the Chiefs' head coach. When you take that out and expand it over the first quarter of the season, Reed is actually 19 and 9 ATS in weeks one through four with the Chiefs and 15 and 6 against the spread in weeks one through three. Houston, meanwhile, has struggled a little bit, especially early on. Houston's dropped four of the last five season openers outright. If you believe home field advantage matters, and we certainly don't know exactly what home field advantage is going to look like for Kansas City in this football game because of the coronavirus and some of the spacing limitations at play here, but they were outstanding at home a season ago, especially in the second half of the year. The Chiefs rattled off nine straight covers to finish last season. Six of those came at Arrowhead Stadium. Now, one thing that you may want to be a little bit aware of is that week one home favorites that are favored between 9 and 11 points are 3 and 14 ATS going back to the 03 season. Teams favored between 9 and 10 points are 3 and 10 ATS, which includes four straight losses. 
Now let's briefly talk about the over-under. We mentioned earlier when we gave the Chiefs-Texans odds for this football game that the total was set at 54.5 points, and if that seems high, especially early in the season, that's because it is. It's a rare total. How rare? Well, this is actually only the third time since the 2003 season that an opening weekend game has featured an over-under set at at least 53 points. In fact, it hasn't happened since the 2015 season when the Eagles and Falcons kicked off on a Monday night football game. And though it's been a small sample size, the under is 2-0 and in these high total week one games. Also, you should be aware of the fact that the under is 33-22-1 in Chiefs games coached by Andy Reid at Arrowhead Stadium. And the under is 11-4-1 in the Texans' last 16 September games. So I don't know if that means that Bill O'Brien's defenses start fast and the offenses start slow, but all of the numbers and recent trends point to this one staying under the point total of 54 and a half. All right, now that we've talked about some of the betting trends and taken a look at the general preview for this one, let's make some picks and predictions for the Texans and Chiefs on Thursday night. Listen, when you look at this Houston offense, it is going to be vastly different this season. Bill O'Brien traded away DeAndre Hopkins. He's arguably one of the two or three best, most dynamic wide receivers in all of football. Yes, they still have Will Fuller. Yes, they have Brandon Cooks. Yes, they got back in return for DeAndre Hopkins, David Johnson. And they have a top five quarterback in Deshaun Watson. It's still going to be a potent and formidable offensive attack for the Texans. However, there's a sense across football that this team took a step backwards this offseason. And we know that they lost by 20 points to the Chiefs last January. Have they done enough or anything at all to bridge that gap? I think it's really hard to say so. At the same time, Kansas City probably going to be riding an emotional wave heading into this game as Super Bowl champs opening up on the big stage on national TV at home. We've seen teams in the past kind of stumble out of the gate a little bit in this spot. So I am hesitant to lay the nine points with Kansas City in this football game. Instead, I'm turning my attention to the total. It's a high one, 54 and a half points. But when you look at Andy Reid's teams early in the season at home, it tends to go under. When you look at Andy Reid's teams in general at home, it tends to stay under. You look at what Houston's done in recent Septembers, their games tend to trend under. And when you look at a very small sample size of extremely high point totals, especially in week one, the games tend to trend under. And for those reasons, I look at it and I know that they scored 82 combined points in their playoff game a season ago, but I am actually going to go against the grain here and take the under 54 and a half points. Now, that being said, at FanDuel Sportsbook, and you can get these deals at crossingbroad.com slash FD. You can bet on the Chiefs to win the game by 1 to 13 points at plus 145. That's a very good payout. If the Chiefs lose the game, obviously you lose. And if the Chiefs run away in a blowout victory, yeah, of course it's not going to pay off. But if they have a, sell a stellar win, Stay within 13 points, the, the uh, Texans do. Plus 145 is a pretty solid payout. You also need to be aware that new bettors at FanDuel Sportsbook can bet $5 and win $125 on the Chiefs this week. It's an outstanding promo. Again, you can get it at crossingbroad.com slash FD. And be sure to check out DraftKings Sportsbook, $1,000 in free bets, and the Chiefs as a 100 and one point underdog on Thursday night. I think that one has a pretty good chance of hitting crossingbroad.com slash DK.